Hours after the panic and confusion in this tunnel, complete silence as a police scenes of crime evidence gatherer makes his way towards Circle Line Locomotive 204. The train, which had been travelling between Aldgate and Liverpool Street stations in East London, is now empty of its passengers. But the horror they faced earlier that day is obvious. Seven people died here. Scores of others were injured in the powerful explosion which ripped through the second carriage from the front. Across London, another Scenes of Crime team records the aftermath of the terrorist attack at Edgware Road. Six died here. Some, the inquest heard, had lain for a time mortally wounded amongst the twisted wreckage and scattered belongings. But they died before medical help could reach them. Such was the chaotic nature of the unfolding disaster, exacerbated by the difficulties of communicating and operating in the underground tunnels. Here at Russell Square, the platforms are empty. The whole network was shut down in the aftermath of the attacks. The bombing of this train accounted for the biggest single loss of life. 26 died at Russell Square. Six were thrown from the train by the power of the blast. The inquest heard how this Piccadilly line service had been packed at the time of the explosion. The train had been carrying up to 1,500 passengers who had to clamber through the deep tunnels for almost half a mile to reach safety. While the Russell Square victims were trying to reach the surface, above ground, another horror was unfolding. This number 30 bus blown apart by the fourth suicide bomber. These images were understandably difficult for the families to watch, and they know they have many months of distressing evidence ahead before the inquest finally rules on the events of July the 7th, 2005.